So, turns out the Xbox briefing isn't the only place for exclusive breaking news. Right here on Xbox Daily, we've got a world premiere trailer for the newest chapter in the Halo Wars 2 saga. Here's Halo Wars 2, Halo War 2's new expansion, Awakening the Nightmare. Halo Wars 2 launched in February, and we're already getting a new expansion. Joining me to tell us more are Brian Gerard, Barry Feather, and Kiki Wolfkill from 343 Industries. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello. Great to see you guys. Always great to see the 343 gang, and it's, uh, today is no different. Now, listen, the trailer we saw from Blur looked amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about Halo Wars 2 uh, for people that don't know about it? Who wants to take that one? Barry? <laughs> oh, you're in Halo Wars 2. <laughs> All right, so, Barry. Uh, Kiki, right here. So Halo Wars 2, um, the original, we were UNSC fighting fighting the Banished. Um, in the expansion, we actually flipped that over on its head. We are, fight, are fighting as the Banished, uh, and we, um, we have uh, uh, an opportunity to, to, um, to play the bad guy. It's always fun to play the bad guy. Sure. Uh, and so uh, I think that fans will be really excited um, to, play, to play as the Brutes, to, to have that, that kind of that power. I have been playing, uh, you know, I've been involved in the Halo universe for a long time, not as long as Brian, uh, but I saw the Flood in there. What's that all about? <laughs> the flood, flood are a great enemy. The Flood are very terrifying. You know, we've seen it in, in other Halo, uh, Halo games. The Flood are coming back here. The yeah. Flood are, um, you know, a terrifying enemy. You know, the Nightmare Awakened. This is, this is the whole, the whole yeah. point is we have to put them back in their bottle because if they get out, you know, bad things ends. happen. The world ends with, with the flood. Now, you kind of alluded to it earlier, but for folks that aren't familiar with the Halo universe, um, why is the flood, why is it a big deal for Halo fans? Mostly well, because they can wipe out all sentient life in the universe. Small thing like that. Right. Um, no big yeah, deal. Yeah, no big deal. I mean, we haven't seen them since uh, Halo 3. And I have to say, because we played uh, in the studio the other day, that that like swarming infestation mechanic. Yeah. Like, you have a really visceral reaction to right. You have get it out, get it out, <laughs> get it out. Yeah. Right. And, and you don't. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be infected. So um, yeah. So it's kind of cool because it's such a classic element, and we get to see them come back and play them in a way that's super different from we've experienced them before. Barry, what else can you tell us about this expansion coming up? So uh, so again, there is the Banish campaign uh, against the Flood. Um, we have some new Blur cinematics. You saw a little bit of a teaser of, of the Blur work there. We'll have some more of that. Uh, we have two new leaders, uh, two new brute lieutenants of Aatrox uh, that will be playable in the, the Banish campaign, but also in multiplayer. Um, on, the, on the show floor uh, this week, we have uh, Terminus Firefight, which is a new mode uh, in Where's the expansion. Uh, oh, look at them swarming. You can see it right there. That, uh, it's more of a base defense uh, type firefight, um, waves of enemies coming in, yeah. building defenses. We have these new defenses called barricades that do various things. So it's all about how long can you last? Yeah. How many waves can, can, you, can you play? And you can play as all of the leaders that we've released, both in the original game and in DLC. So there's all these different tactics and there's different, it'll be 3VE three three uh, cooperative. So I'm Jerome and, and I, uh, Aatrox and how they work together. And, you know, all of those interplays will be super awesome. So I want to point out, there's two, there's a lot of components to this, but there's a huge addition for the campaign and multiplayer. So yep. what are some of the bullet points for each one that we can go over? <laughs> I'm not going to speak no. to your game, my friend. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, that's what we're talking about. There is a full-featured full campaign experience yep. from the Banish. Yep. So you play the bad guy, as Barry said. Yep. You'll encounter the Flood, so there's going to be... How will Atriox be able to face this new ancient foe? Yeah. We'll find out. On the multiplayer side, beyond Terminus Firefight that Barry just mentioned, uh, the team's coming out with 
two new maps for the classic multiplayer mode that's already in Halo Wars 2. Yeah. But the best part is, those are going to be free for everyone. So yeah. if you already own Halo Wars 2, later this fall, you're going to get two more maps that are playable for Deathmatch, Strongholds, and Domination, just to make sure everybody can keep playing together online. Now, Halo fans that have the Season Pass, what's up with them? Yeah, Season Pass is still going strong. Yeah. So we have been putting out content every month, uh, new leaders, uh, content updates, new features. Recently, Barry and the team added HDR support for Xbox One S, for example. You have an HR, if you have an Xbox One S and you have a, a 4K uh, TV with HDR, it looks glorious. It's, um, it is amazing. Yeah. Um, but we have still have four leaders yet to come with the season pass, two of which are playable here at E3. All right. I think it's, we're going to reveal that right now. We have are we? Commander Jerome and the Arbiter. Exclusive! Are both playable <laughs> now. Uh, they'll be coming out later this month. Yep. And then we still have a few more leaders on tap and a special two campaign sort of add-on expansion that season pass holders will all be getting in the months to come. Now that, that's great news, but the other part of this is there's, there's tremendous excitement around Halo Wars 2 for, in the eSports community. Kiki, tell us about that. Well, um, we've got a couple things going on in July, but we have our big HCS. Uh, both our European and North American finals are happening at DreamHack Atlanta. So that's going to be a huge event. Um, we have a $200,000 prize pool. But what's really cool is, A, that prize pool is partially funded by crowdfunding. And the other thing is, it's the first time we've had our pro league and our open circuit together. So literally anyone could win the $200,000. Uh, so that's coming up on July 21st. Where do, where do you know, you, there's a lot of stuff that just happened. Where do people go to check it out online? Uh, so they can go to um, uh, halo.gg. Yep. Uh, is probably the best place to go, but obviously twitch.tv yep. forward slash halo and Mixer. Obviously, we're going to be big on Mixer. All right, so. you guys want to take a que one question? We only have one time for one question in the community. How's that yeah, sound? Sure, let's do it. All right, from the community, we have Roger1519. Will you ever be able to play as the Flood in a Halo game? Ever Brian. in any Halo game? <laughs> uh, well, in Halo Wars 2, just to clear, like, they are bad, but right. you will not play as you the Flood. You will not play as the Flood. You'll play against the Flood. How would you do that? I don't know. But they're just, I mean, they're, it's just they're everywhere. Well, you can be the infection form. <laughs> right. I'll be like the big sort of right. juggernaut clock. Right. Right. Like, right. Ever, ever? I mean, I don't know. But yeah, who knows? In Halo Wars 2, you'll play against them, not as them. Right. So now 343 listens to the community all the time. You guys are unbelievable. So I, I you know, keep asking. They may do it. All right, now, Kiki, I understand yeah. you brought a little something along special for me. You know that I love giving things away. You do. I know you do. So. I will, by proxy, ask you to give some things away. Oh, look at we this. We have 15,000 people on the floor. So this is one of my favorite things. It's by AC Worldwide. So it's a Bluetooth speaker. Wait a minute, signed. that's a speaker? It's yes. A speaker. Not a cat helmet. And it lights up. <laughs> it no. does. Look at that. Lights up. I have one of these in my, this down. I want to take in a my at... woman cave You have a, which, uh, Oh, really? At home. I need to see photos of said woman cave. Yes. That's but fun. also signed Check by a out. bunch of three, four. Signed by everybody. Parents. Look at this. Wait, now, I understand it also it also makes some sounds, right? It did. I, I think I may have triggered it. Oh, you the, may have triggered uh, it. All right. It's, it's, yes. it's pretty extraordinary. What else did you bring along? All right. So this oh, here we is go. a doozy. All right. So this is Triforce made this hand-painted life-size plasma rifle. And these are all signed by 343 Yes, signed by 343ers. This one is the... Uh, the primary and preferred weapon of the Covenant. Grim signed did I see? Corps. I can look at it right here. It's I'm a looking very at it. special. Yeah. This thing weighs 20 pounds, but life size. Now we're giving these away cool. on the show, right? Is that what? Yes. We're doing? So you get to pick two lucky people. Okay. At the show to get these gifts. All right. So. So th choose stay wisely. With us. No pressure. Stay with us. All right. Sounds like Halo fans on Xbox and PC have a lot in store when Halo Wars 2: Awakening the Nightmare comes out this fall. And while the new Firefight Terminus mode is playable from the E3 show floor, those of you watching at home can join in on the action as well. Tune into the Xbox Daily on Wednesday when Brian and Barry are going to join us again to play a round of the new game mode. I want to thank everybody here. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks, Larry. Thank All right, you, and man. now. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this. So thank you, profusely, thank you.